Hey guys, Matt J here. So my PCV valve failed, which caused an oily mess in my engine bay while driving to work last week. I needed to replace that PCV valve, the crankcase breather tube, and the valve cover gasket. But before I did this, I consulted the Audi technical manual and I watched a few cool videos on how to do this, which I will link below. The videos were good, but I wanted to share a few of the most important tips I learned along the way. All right, let's get to them. Tip one, you don't need to remove the heat shield to get to the crankcase breather tube. If you're just replacing the valve cover gasket, you don't need to worry about removing it, but mine was old and had some oil in it, so it was time for a new one. I spent a long time trying to figure out how to get to the bolt closest to the engine that seemed blocked by the heat shield that separates the head and air pipe from the turbo. I figured I would remove the heat shield and then I found out I could reach that breather bolt by using a long screwdriver by going underneath it. Get your screwdriver underneath there, unscrew it most of the way, and be careful not to drop that bolt into the engine bay. Tip 2. Take some time to really clean the retaining frame surface so your new gasket fits. Once I removed the valve cover, it was easy to see where the oil had pushed past the gasket. I cleaned all the oil that I could see on the retaining frame surface and anywhere it had leaked out. Tip 3. Make sure you clean that valve cover. Make sure that none of the holes in the passageways are clogged and dirty. And then you can make sure that new gasket seats perfectly on the valve cover. Tip 4. Once you have the gasket on, you can use the bolts to help align the gasket so that it fits perfectly. And also it holds it on so when you flip it over, you don't have to worry about it falling out. It makes life a lot easier. Alright, tip 5. Go ahead and use some silicone sealant. This will give some added protection against future leaks. Tip 6. Make sure you research the correct tightening pattern for your car and torque the bolts to spec. Tip 7. The PCV valve gasket is another area where oil can leak and it's cheap so while you're in there you might as well replace it. Tip 8. Pre-assemble that crankcase breather tube. It'll make it a lot easier to get back on. And finally, tips 9 and 10. If you have a wife, don't wash your engine parts in the kitchen sink. I repeat, just don't do it. I hope you found the video useful. Later.